Hello and welcome to Shark Week Coding. I'm Ronald Hawkins, Principal of Capital Prep Harbor Lore School. Today we will create a shark video game using code. So let's go ahead and get started. What I need you to do first is open up your browser and in the address bar you're going to type in scratch.mit.edu. Again, scratch, S-C-R-A-T-C-H dot M-I-T dot E-D-U. All right, once you land on their homepage, you're going to click Create. Now, our video game that we're going to be constructing today deals with two characters, a shark and a starfish. And the shark is going to chase the starfish, and the objective is for the starfish to outrun the shark. All right, now that Scratch is loaded up, we have a tutorial. However, that's why I'm here. And this is just showing you how to build another game. So we're going to close that out. And then the characters are also known as sprites. So notice here we have a happy cat. And in the sprites box, we're going to hit the trash can and get rid of him. So we have a clear palette. So let's take a look at the tabs. We have code, backdrops, sounds. This is our script um, area. So we're going to pull our drag and place from our coding into this area. Then we have sprites, that's our characters. We have the backdrop, the background. And then when we're working with a backdrop and the characters, you'll notice they'll be placed here, okay? So let's look at code. We have motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and my blocks. So we have two characters, a shark and a starfish. So go ahead and go to the sprite box and on the bottom right, this um, cat icon, you're going to hover over it and it says choose a sprite. So go ahead and click that and we're going to go to search and we're going to type in shark. There are two options. The first shark, he's not that great because the only thing that happens is his nose grows like Pinocchio. All right. But shark number two, he has a little bit of personality. He has a closed mouth, an open mouth, and then a mouth where it looks like he ate something that wasn't that really good. Um, so we want to choose shark number two. All right, now we're gonna go back to choose a sprite. Click, go to search, starfish. All right, starfish. Now we have our two characters, really important that when you're coding the character, the sprite that's highlighted in blue is the code that you're working with. So right now, if I was coding for the shark, I would have to click on the shark, all right? So make sure you're on the correct sprite when you're coding. So let's go ahead, we're on shark, and we're gonna change the size. We're gonna make him a little smaller. So instead of 100, you're gonna click in size, Get rid of 100 and type in 80. Hit enter. Now we're going to go to the starfish. We're going to go to size. Get rid of 100. We'll make her 30. Hit enter. Now with the starfish, I'm going to go ahead and drag her on the bottom right hand corner. Like so. I'm going to click the shark. I'm going to put him at the top left hand corner. like so. Now we need to enter his coordinates. So in your X and Y box, we're going to go for the shark. Make sure the shark is selected. X is going to be negative 181, negative 181, so minus 181. Enter. And his Y is going to be 132. 132 enter okay so x is negative 181 y is 132 let's go ahead and start coding go to events you're going to click and drag so when the green flag is clicked pull it over and drop so the green flag is what starts the game so when the green flag is clicked what 
we're going to go to motion we're going to go to X and Y so drag and snap so go to X make sure these numbers are correct negative 181 Y is 132 we're looking great all right now we're going to go to control we're going to hit repeat until which is towards the bottom here repeat until blank so we're going to select that snap it into place and now hit sensing make sure you're on the shark all right so sensing you're going to go touching mouse pointer so go ahead and select that snap it into this diamond here okay so repeat until touching not the mouse pointer but the starfish so you're going to click on this white arrow and you're going to select starfish all right go back to motion and we're going to go point towards all right here it says mouse pointer so select that you're going to snap that in here so it's going to say repeat until touching starfish point towards go to your white arrow and select starfish all right so take a second make sure you have this code accurate when the green flag is clicked go to x negative 181 y is 132 repeat until touching starfish point towards starfish okay you're doing great let's continue now we're going to go to motion which we're already there and we're going to select move 10 steps and when you drag this you want to make sure you go underneath point towards starfish okay so instead of 10 steps we're going to change this to 20 steps so click in the green uh, white circle and type in 20 all right point towards starfish move 20 steps now we we need to change his costume. So we're gonna go to looks. And we're gonna go switch costume to. So switch costume to. We're gonna drag this underneath the move 20 steps. You gotta make sure all three of these things are aligned. Okay? Make sure yours looks just like mine. But we're going to change here. We're going to switch the costume to Shark 2. And we're going to select B. Now you may be asking, well, how do I know I won't be? Well, let me show you really quick. You're going to go to the tab and go to Costumes. And for this character, this is his first position. His second position. Second costume. And third. All right. So... He has his mouth closed. He has his mouth open. And that's what I want him to do as he's trying to search for the starfish. Open and close. All right. So let's go back to code. So we have point towards starfish. Move 20 steps. Switch costume to shark 2B. And the way I got there is clicking the white arrow. Drop down menu and I select it. Okay, now we're going to go to control and we're gonna go wait one second. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this down and put it underneath the switch costume. Okay, make sure all these are lined up. So instead of one second, because I want him, his mouth to continue to go open and close, open and close. I need to change that. So I'm going to click in the white circle and I'm going to change that to point 2. Do not forget the decimal and hit enter. So point 2 seconds. Point 2 seconds. All right. And now we're going to go to motion. We're going to select move 10 steps. And we're going to drop that underneath the wait 0.2 seconds and I'm going to change the steps instead of 10 I'm going to try 20 steps 
Move 20 steps, then hit enter. Okay. Take a look at mine. Take a look at yours. Make any corrections if needed. All right, let's continue. Now we're going to go to looks. Because remember, open and close, so he's going to have to change costumes back and forth, right? So now we're going to go look, switch costume. So switch costume to shark 2A. I'm going to drop that here. Okay. So all this is one idea. Him opening his mouth and closing his mouth. He's chomping away. All right. So move 20 steps. Switch costume to shark 2A. Okay. Now let's do some coding for the starfish. So you're going to have to click, go to sprite, and hit or click uh, starfish. Now we're going to go to events. When the green flag is clicked, drag. Then we're going to go to motion. Motion. And here we need to set up the um, coordinates for the starfish. So go down here to sprite. And for X, we're going to enter 216, enter. And then the Y is going to be negative 154, enter. Okay? Make sure you are on the starfish. So now we're going to go to motion. We're already there. And we're going to select go to X and Y. All right? So go to X. And let's make sure it's right. 216, 216, negative 154, negative 154. Looks great. Okay. Next, we are going to go to control. And we're going to select repeat until. So it's towards the end here. And you're going to drag that over here. So click and snap. Repeat until blank, blank. So we need to go to sensing next. Repeat until touching. So you're going to go mouse pointer. Click and drag, drop that into the diamond. And it's not the mouse pointer, but the shark. So you're going to go to the Y arrow and select shark 2. So repeat until touching the shark. All right. Go back to motion. And you're going to select point towards mouse pointer. Select that. I'm going to drop it in this white box there, okay, and snap it into place. All right, so move, point towards the mouse pointer. Now we're going to go back to, you should already be at motion, so you're going to select move 10 steps and snap that under point towards mouse pointer. Now, the starfish also has another costume, so we got to go to look, and we're going to select next costume. Select that, drag, and you're going to drop it underneath, move 10 steps. So next costume. All right, when he's called, we need music to represent that he's been called. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to sounds 
and on the bottom left hand corner it says choose a sound so go ahead and click the speaker icon and as you hover over different ones it will it will give you a sample of the sound all right so I'm gonna go to wacky and you can play around with this you can pick whatever sound you like um, Dun, dun, dun. All right, I like this. So if the shark catches the starfish, this is going to be the sound. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go back to code. All right. Now I want to go to sound. And when I get to sound, I'm going to say play sound until done. So I'm going to select and I'm going to drop. I'm going to go underneath here, okay? So make sure it's underneath this orange bar. So play sound, then hit this white arrow, dun dun dun, until done. So after he's caught, we have dun dun dun, and the game is over. Okay, you should be under the starfish, make sure you're underneath the starfish. Okay. With any video game, there's always background music, so we need to add that. So what I need to do now is click on the shark. Make sure this is highlighted in blue. And now we're going to code the background sound. So what you're going to do next is to the right of this code, we're going to go back to events. And you're going to select when the green flag is clicked. And drop it right there all right now we're going to select control and it's going to be if X then so this option right here actually it should be if X then blank else so it's this one I call it that. So if X then blank else blank. Alright. So now we're going to go to sound. Before that we have to go to sensing because he has to touch something. So sensing we're going to go to touching mouse pointer and you're going to drag that into the diamond. So if touching, go, go to the white arrow and select starfish. So if touching the starfish, then what do we want it to do? We want it to go to control panel and we're going to go stop all. Or else, I wanted to play the music. So we're going to go to sound. And we're going to go play sound until, click that, and drag, snap into place. All right. Else, play sound. Let's select our video game sound. So what you're going to do, go to sounds. I'm going to go back to my speaker icon, choose a sound, and I wonder if there's a water. You can type in or you can just play around with it. Hmm. All right, I'm going to see what if there's a video game. Video. All right, I like this one. So I'm going to choose video game. Now I'm going to go back to code. And now play sound. Go to your white arrow. And we're going to choose video game one. Okay. So play sound video game one until done. 
All right. We have our coating for the shark. We have our coating for the starfish. We have background music for our game. Now we need to create the background. So you're going to go in the far right hand corner, bottom, and it says choose backdrop. Go ahead and click that. It's like a picture icon. And it's in the ocean, right? Underwater. So let's type in underwater. Okay. So there's underwater one or underwater two. I'm going to select underwater one. Again, you can pick any background that you want. All right. This looks really hot. Okay, so we have our shark. The shark will always start here. The starfish will always start there. The way that we initiate the game is we're going to press this green flag. And with your mouse, wherever you move your mouse will be where the starfish moves. So, are you ready to give it a try? Let's see what happens. So, green. Ah! Oh. All right, woo! Clap it up, clap it up. We have success. All right, I'm gonna go full screen, and I'm gonna hit the green flag. Ah! Oh. All right, the best of three. Let's see if I can beat it this time. All right, green flag. Oh! Oh man! All right. Well, you're gonna enjoy playing this game, I'm sure. Challenge your parents, your friends, whoever, your neighbors. Let's see um, who can get the longest time running from the shark. Again, I'm Ronald Hawkins. Thank you so much for joining me during Shark Week. I hope you had a great time. I will put directions in the description below. Until next time, take care. One quick thing though, almost forgot this. As soon as you close out this game, you will lose it. So if you want to save the game, you have to create an account. And you do that by going to Join Scratch. It's free. It's just going to ask you for your name, how old you are, and your email address. And then once you do that, you'll be able to save your game. And you can share it with family and friends, neighbors, whoever you want to play with. Alright? Okay, thank you guys. Take care. Be well.